Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, it is Wednesday and I'm coming on quickly because I just got home from the food store and went to the Dollar Tree and the Dollar 25 tree and I had to stop at ShopRite to pick up a couple of things and here it is, a couple of things, yeah. Well, I have to go pick up my husband, I have to go pick up um, Bill at the, at the um, glass place because um, a rock hit his glass, his windshield, and broke it so we're dropping his truck off so I have to... Meet him there, but so I only have about 10 minutes. Hey, hey, get down. Get down. Get down. Cooper's trying to get the sushi that I got. Sushi. California roll and, he's so bad, and um, spicy tuna roll. I'm not a big sushi person, but I do like California roll and su and um, spicy tuna. Look what he's doing. Now he's getting into the butter. Get out. Get out. Get out. bad guy. He's so bad. Okay. Um, sorry guys about all that um, mishovelness. But anyway. Oh my lord. Now the phone's ringing. I'm not even answering it. Just give me a second. I'm sorry. Alright. So this is what I got. Um, I got apple juice for Jen. I got Weight Watchers string cheese because I needed to get a snack. What is he doing? Oh my God, he's getting so much stuff. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. He was eating a marker. He is just back to his double self. <sighs> Let me breathe a minute. Okay, so here we go. Since I was at ShopRite, this is where I get Bill's white clam sauce. I don't have it. I never can find it at Walmart, and all the of doesn't have that kind of stuff. So um, I got four cans of that. I got Kalamata olives right here because I'm telling you, I want to make that Greek salad. Um, and so I didn't, I was missing a few things to make it, so I had to get Kalamata olives. I got another thing, a half and half, because I'm on that um, iced coffee kick now, the cold coffee. And get down. And so I need more half and half. I got a couple of ham steaks they had on sale. I got two, pa two packages of chopped meat, like three, four pounds each. They were on sale, um, $3.99 a pound, so I got two packages figuring... <coughs> You know, they're on sale. I might as well grab two. Um, I got two things of sour cream. <laughs> I got, guys, I'm going to make that cucumber water that I that I had at that blend salad place the other day. So I bought, um, I bought an orange. I bought a couple of apples and um, more cucumbers and lemons and limes because I'm going to make that cucumber water. Oh, it's so delicious, guys. And it'll really just keep me satisfied, I think. So, um, no, no, no. No, no, Cooper. Ah. He's just playing too rough. I got two things of Ronzoni Angel Hair Pasta. They, had, they were on sale, so I got those instead of the store brand. Um, they were 99 cents, which normally they're like, you know, $1.59, $1.69. So I got those. I got French dressing. Aldi doesn't seem to have French dressings anymore. I don't know why. They, they, don't, they don't have them anymore. Ow. I got a thing of the light sausage because I can have that with their low in points if I get the light from Weight Watchers. I got garlic powders right there. Oh, these are my new shoes, guys. I think you won't want like ten dollars. Julie's got them too. They're all different colors. Um, I got <laughs> just thought I'd show you those. I got canned corn. I got paprika. I got a garlic. They had garlic powder on sale, ninety nine cents. So I got three of those. I got a dozen eggs. I got three cans of tuna. I got um, butter. I got hamburger rolls. Frankie wants those spicy Doritos, so I got him those. I got a thing of penne right there in the box. Like I said, they were 99 cents. I also got um, a thing of strawberries to put in my water. And I got hamburger rolls. And like I said, I got that sushi over there. Usually on Wednesdays, guys, they have a $5. They have $5 um, Wednesdays where they have $5 sushi. Um, so I got a little excited because I saw it and I was like, oh my God, it's Wednesday. And... Um, when I got up to the thing, it was five ninety nine. So inflation, guys, they raised it ninety nine cents, but it's still really good because it's usually like eight, nine, ten dollars. So I have to get my sushi, and I got plants and stuff. I'm gonna show you. I got soil. I went to the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you that stuff when I come back because I don't have time. I have to get some of the stuff in the refrigerator before I go get Bill. So um, this is my haul, and I will, like I said, I will show you the rest. My stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree and my plants and stuff um, when I come back. Oh, I also got um, 
a big pound, a uh, five pound bag of potatoes for, you know, for baked potatoes for everybody because I have uh, sweet potatoes in there. And yeah, so that's it, guys. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm just going to go now and put some of this stuff away. All right, guys. So here is the stuff from the Dollar Tree. Look at these things. I got these are called Herb Rockets. I have no idea what they are. I've never done them before. But supposedly you just put them right into the little pots. So I got two parsley and two basil. We're going to see how that goes. Um, I got all these little pots. I got a couple of bit. I got four of the big ones. Like seven or eight or ten of the little ones. And I got these nor rices. These nor rices were $1.25. So, yeah, well, the whole, you know, Dollar Tree is Dollar 25 now. Um, and I got one of those, some of those containers right there. And, um, oh, I got these from my, I'm going to hang them up on my swing. Or, no, actually, I bought one of those um, hanging plant things because um, I want to hang them up. Let me see. This is stuck now. I got a butterfly. Look, I'll show you right here. See the butterfly? The hanging thingy, yeah, and then I got a little a bird. Show you the bird one. Yeah, if I can just put it down here. These are cute little things. I got glasses. That's what I went there for. Three pairs of glasses. Because when I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday with my daughter, I totally forgot to get glasses, and that's why I went. Um, I also got a can of beets. Sorry, can of beets because I love to put those in my salad. I just so I just grabbed one because uh, dollar twenty five. I could probably get them cheap for like eighty five cents or I don't even know if Aldi has beets. I've never seen them there. I've never looked really, so maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. But um, I um I got the rest of the stuff outside. My the plants that I got and stuff. Um, I'll show you that when I go outside. But right now I'm not going outside. But this is what I got from the Dollar Tree. Spent about forty, no, thirty eight bucks maybe something like that not bad like i told you guys the dollar tree the dollar 25 tree doesn't thrill me anymore i mean i walk through there and you know pick up a little thing here and there but i don't know something about it but it was fun so yes yeah, so i did that and uh, now i'm home and it's quarter to four so i have to get ready for um getting dinner going and i'll see you when it's time for dinner all right, guys, so I'm coming on because I am getting dinner ready now. Um, like I said, I'm making uh, making hams. I got to get something to hold this up. Give me one second. All right, so here is the ham steak. I'm just making one ham steak, and I'm going to make two London broils. Hubby's going to have the ham steak. Whoever wants the other piece can have a piece of it or whatever. Jenny's eating out. She's out with her mentor now. They, um, Michelle, they went out to Applebee's tonight for a dinner together. And so it's just us. I'm making some of those Nor Rices that I bought today at the Dollar, Dollar 25 tree. And I'm making um, small beef um, yam for myself and some string beans. And I might have a salad. I'm not sure, honestly. I feel like I need something else uh, I, I, I was at the store today and I meant to get zucchini I forgot zucchini so pissed at myself I just need something different like a, I have a lot of bro I eat a lot of broccoli and you know I want I want to have variety oh, another thing I forgot I meant to get my bird's eye cauliflower mash and I forgot that too I'm telling you if I don't have a list I mean and I normally have a list I have a list but it wasn't I didn't have it on my list Anyway, so I just need a variety of stuff. Otherwise, I'm you know I get bored. I'm getting bored. So how much broccoli can I eat? All right, so this I'm gonna season with some seasonings. Put some butter on it, um, and I'm gonna put this in the um, in the toaster oven thingy because I only clean my oven partially. I got some of that um, wax stuff off. I gotta get the rest of it off. Off the you know off the plastic. So I haven't done that yet. It's been running around crazy and haven't really done that yet. So, so I'm, doing, I'm gonna start the barbecue and so I can get the linda broils on. I'm gonna cook everything and if everyone wants to eat, everyone, every, anybody gets home, they eat, they wanna eat, they can eat, and that's that. 
Um, yeah. So let me go out and start the barbecue and seasonings. I'll show you season it's up to. All right, guys. So guess what just happened? I said I was going to go out with the barbecue wad. What was I thinking? I left the ham steak here on the counter, on the table. I went outside for two seconds. Didn't even, like, remember that Cooper is back to him. And within two seconds, I heard, I, I said, to, uh, something went off in my head. I heard something, and I came in the kitchen, and he had the ham steak that I had here on the floor, starting to whip it up. So thank God I bought two. I had to throw that one out. Cause he's bad and I can't use it obviously and so I'm making the other one uh, usually when I do that I say I say to Bill I'm going outside a minute watch him but for some reason I totally forgot that he's you know what I mean because he's been ill and stuff so I haven't really he hasn't really been you know well the last couple of days he's been back to his normal his normal self but I don't know guys so no sense crying it was spilled he has steak right it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm telling you guys. Guys, I'm telling you. I don't believe what's going on in this world anymore. I mean, I mean, it's like here we are again, you know, like with Buffalo, with the shooting in Buffalo. And now with these, with this, with this, in Texas. I, I, I just, I, I don't even know what to think anymore. Like, I don't even... You, you can't even, like, if, if I was raising my kids today, I'm sorry. I don't know if I would let them go to school. I mean, I know you can't shelter your kids. I know you can't hide from everything. You know, life is going to happen, whatever. But, yeah, I mean, you can prevent something, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I would be a basket case. You know, this world, something is wrong in this world if you can go and get an automatic shotgun easier than you can um, adopt a puppy, okay? Just just, just take, put that in your pipe and smoke it. You know, I'm not saying I'm against guns. I'm not saying I'm, you know, I'm not saying I'm against guns, but I'm, I think guns should be e harder to get, okay? I don't know what's up with this kid who's mentally ill or whatever it is. I don't know. All I know is that 19 innocent young children are dead and two teachers for no apparent reason and it's bullshit it's total total bullshit god bless them all and god bless their families so now cooper's in outside i'm going to put this in um the toaster over here and heat up and get the um bring london boils over here and get them seasoned up and then we'll bring those outside to the barbecue this is uh, what do i have here this is my, but my butter dish and yeah let's get Just mixing the rice up over here, guys. I don't have these on my tripod today, so I probably should put you on the tripod. But just want to add a little bit more water to this rice. Simmering on low. So I just went out to check Hooper. He was, he loves to go up on top of the hill there, and he can't. He's you know tied up to a certain only. He can only go so far. And he was up on the hill halfway, and he was tangled around one of the one of the branches. Guys, it's a nightmare. All he wants to do is run. You know his breed. That's all they want to do, and he doesn't want to know for nothing. He he don't care. He don't care that he has stitches in his leg. And then he can damage it and damage the other one. He don't care. You think he cares about paying $3,500? No, he don't care. All he cares about is getting squirrels and running around and playing. That's what he cares about. As he should, I guess. So, 
Yeah, so I kind of, you know, I was watching the news this morning, really kind of down about this whole Texas thing. It's just hard not to sure. be. All right, thank you. It's just hard not to be, because you know what, guys? <laughs> we all have kids, you know? We all have people we love, and it's just, it's horrible. I, I just, and meanwhile, now that kid is dead. Okay, so he's dead. Okay. You know, what, 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 where's the justice? Looking for water, I hear this. Where is the justice? I don't know. Is there any? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I have sleep apnea. Found out today from the doctor. I, I mean, I kind of knew. We kind of knew it. I didn't know it. Everybody else knew because I'm sleeping. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> but he said, "Yeah, I have. I have um, median, media, medium to severe sleep apnea." So he's sending me that whole thing, concoction thing. But he approved me for the surgery. This is the pulmonary doctor, so that's really good. He he approved me, and he said the main doctor who we have to go by is Dr. Cho. Well, that's my cardiologist. He's the one who has to say yes or no because he said as long as the stress test came out okay, which I'll find out in a week, next week, he said as long as that came out okay, he doesn't see why he wouldn't approve me. So I'm just praying. I think that it, it probably did because I would say think that if the stress test was didn't come out good, I would think, but, you know, it's 2021 and people are crazy and nobody knows what they're doing anymore. I don't trust anybody. I don't know. I hope. I would think that he would have they would have called me and let me know if I have a blockage or something. Anyway. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm hoping that, you know, so we're really at the home stress stress stretch now, guys. The main thing is just doing these last couple of appointments. Oh, we have to get an x ray and we have to take that that um, drink stuff, you know G I stuff. Not I don't want to do that, but yeah, that's minor compared to what I've been through and everything, so I'm not really worried. I'm not gonna stress about that. But um, and the psychologist, I hope I pass that because you know I'm a little cray cray. <laughs> so we'll see, but right. hopefully. And then I just got to lose that 10 pounds and then we'll have a date. We're probably looking at the beginning of July. Work with me, you what? Work with me, Him over here, he, what are you working, two weeks? How many months. weeks? Oh, he's been, he's been working back at work about a month, guys. He lost like 18 pounds. Huh? What? 17. 17 pounds. I mean, more men, that's not fair. Like, us ladies, we can't lose that weight like that. That's just wrong. So, guys, you know, I got this um, drink at that blend salad place that my daughter and I went to a couple days ago. Oh, God, it's so good. It has, it has um, cucumber and mint in here and lemon. And um, yesterday I squeezed some more lemon in it. But, um, honestly, I didn't drink all. I, I just finished drinking it. Um, today, because I didn't drink the whole thing, I drank like a little bit of, like up to here, and then, you know, I've been drinking it the last couple of days. Oh my God, it's so good! So today, when I, I showed you guys in my in my shopping haul that I bought all kinds of things, and I'm gonna make a picture of it in my um in my picture, and I'm not gonna make an enormous amount because last time I did that last year, it was just too much and it sat in there and rotted. So I'm gonna make like a like like a half um. Uh, like a half of um, container full. And, and then I'm just going to keep pouring in here because I love this thing. But um, I have to get these things out of here. I mean, right now they're, they're okay still. Um, the mint is going a little bit, but I, ha I have more mint in my freezer from my planter and all that. But I'm going to put all kinds of stuff in the pitcher. Oh, God, I can't wait. This is so refreshing and so delicious. You literally feel like you're drinking like fruit juice, you know, and, and you're not. I almost knocked down the whole thing. I'm gonna put some. I want to put some spring water in it because, and then probably put some ice in it. The mint really does it, and the lemon. I don't, I don't know if there's lime in here. I forget. I gotta look and see. But they um. They have the stuff really thin, like the lemon is really, see how the how thin the lemon is? Yeah, there's, there's no lime. Um, yeah, but the mint, 
Um, but I, I want to see if I can get some more lemon and some lime in there and cucumber. Uh, where's the, oh, there's the, there, there's the cucumber. I assume they got it into here. You know, how else are they going to do it? They just put it, you know, it's really skinny, so they'll probably just shove it in there. But, yeah, so good, guys. It definitely needs more stuff, though, more, more refreshing stuff. Like this, see the mint is all starting to go and stuff. Yeah, not as strong. Hey guys, so I'm back. So here is my dinner. It's a sweet potato, string beans, and some London broil, guys. This is what I'm having for dinner. I'm not going to say goodbye because I'm going to show you my plants and stuff outside after dinner. And I want to show you how I make my cucumber and fruit water. So I'll let you know, uh, see see that. So I'll be back. I'm going to go enjoy my yummy dinner. Yummy. All right, guys, so I'm done eating dinner. I wanted to come out here and show you guys what I got. That's my little sign right there, good vibes only. Um, okay, so here I got yellow bell peppers. I got um, this one, I think it's um, parsley. I got parsley, and I got, um, all right, I got basil. I got two basil and two parsley. Yeah, two basil and two Italian parsley. And then I got this. I got um, Swiss chard. I like Swiss chard, so I'm going to plant that too. Um, I'm really excited about the peppers. Um, I also got tomatoes right here. Oh, no, I didn't get... I got... Let, let me see something. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Okay, I got two tomatoes. I don't know what I'm talking about. I got one basil and one parsley. And the reason why I did that was... I only got one of each because um, I also got a big bag of soil right there. I have those other parsleys and basils that I bought from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not sure how those are going to go. So um, I just bought these two just to be safe, and we'll see how the other ones, you know, I don't know about the Dollar Tree. I don't know the Dollar 25 tree, whatever. I don't know how they're gonna, the plants are going to work, but um, hopefully they'll come in good, you know, but... Um, yeah, so I'm excited. The only thing I'm really hemming and hawing about right now is I don't know where exactly I am going to be um, doing my garden. I don't think I'm going to do it over there in the big thing over there. It's just a big pain in the butt. And, and Billy really can't do a lot of maintenance on it because he's working and everything. So um, I was thinking just to, um, I'm going to, you know, transfer all these things in those pots but the problem is, guys, is that I got to put it somewhere where Cooper is not going to bother it. And where would that be? The only thing I was thinking was either, hey, get away from there. Over there, like right outside the fence there, maybe, I can do it as long as it gets a lot of sun because Cooper can't get over there. Or I was thinking over there, you see over there um, where that opening is right there? I can put all the plants there, and then Billy can just put, like, a f little fence right there so he can't get in in there. I'm not, not really sure where I wanna, what I want to do, but I got to put them somewhere where they're going to get sun and they're going to grow, so got to figure it out. But, you know, it has to be Cooper-proof. Huh. So. Nothing is Cooper-proof. Nothing is Cooper-proof. So, yeah. Hey, buddy. He wants to get on the swing. Hi, All right, guys. So I'm going to end this video now. I'm going to do my um, cucumber, um, you know, fruit water tomorrow. Um, I'm just not into doing it right now. So I'll do it tomorrow. Now, of course, eh, no, of course, I'll take you guys with me. Um, so, yeah, so that's the videos for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Eh, eh. Give me a sec. No, go lay down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Would you like to see Cooper being bad? Coopy. <laughs> don't forget to hit the notification button with the bell. And don't forget to subscribe and share and like and all that, guys. And comment down below. I love when you guys comment. It um, really does help my channel. And, yeah. So, that's it, guys. So, I'll see you on the next video. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. See you tomorrow.